The fire sticks aren't in here. I have them. Oh, you took the fire sticks out. What's going to say? We forgot fire sticks. Luke, do you like Hawaii? <laughs> That's a good dance. I like that dance. Ooh, those look good. Those will be good. An avocado seed? Yeah. As soon as those flames die down, we can start putting them on and start cooking. We got peppers, steak, pineapple, onions. These should be really good. It didn't take those poles long to get ready. So you'll notice I keep the fire sticks long on this direction so that they don't get hot so I can still touch them. And then they're just really short here on this side. So this is the first time I've used the kind of uh, Swedish fire torch stack with the charcoal briquettes. This is the first time I've used it for grilling. And it is definitely hotter, you know, right there in the center than it is on the sides. But it's working really nicely. I mean, you can, you can see it's browning up the meat really nicely. Hey Jess, these are ready. Who wants to start eating these? Yeah, take that one right there. Yeah, give that a try. That The other end might be a little hot. Be yeah. careful of that. But if you just grab the pieces of food and pull them off, I think you'd probably be okay. They are delicious. They good? Mm, they they seem to be cooked all the way through? I think so. I'm going to try one. Mmm. Steak's good. Arlie, you want to try a chunk of steak? Yeah. It's good. Yeah, she does. I'll make one that's mm. all steak this time, Annie, okay? Thanks. Go oh, in. so good. Come on. Mmm. Yeah. The combination of flavors is really good. Well, this Swedish fire torch briquette method seems to be working out pretty good. Gives me kind of different heat zones. Right in the center is quite a bit hotter. And the edges are a little cooler. Use the center to kind of brown things up and then get everything heated all the way through on the edges. That one's yours, Emma. All yeah. steak. Just grab the very, very end. Okay, you can take the other one. Just be very careful how you take them off. Just only touch the meat. I think this is the best thing I've had. Good. Emma loves steak. She's a, a carnivore. She's carnivorous. Mm. You think, Isla, have you gotten a piece off yet? <laughs> How are you? Just grab one. Yeah. There we'll you do go. it in the wet sand, too. Wow. Oh my gosh. Is it yummy? It is so yummy. No, it's, it it's green. I like the pineapple and the onions. Probably should have caught one of those chickens and roasted it. Probably should have. <laughs> There's one crowing right now. <laughs> Might be too loaded. Looks like the girls are over there beach combing. Yeah, there might be some cool stuff on those rocks. There might be. Ooh, that is loaded. That's gonna be a good one. 
want that one? No. The other one? I don't want any. You don't, you don't want meat? this kind? This we'll kind give it to Emma. She'll eat it. Good. I don't like those. You don't you like steak? like those? They're crazy. Emma, you ready for some more steak? Here you go, pull it. This end. Just grab this dip. I'm gonna pull these two off for me. Ooh, that's looking good. Look at that. Was it yummy, bud? I want that kind. You want that kind too? You want to try that kind? The veg kind. The veggie kind? Yeah. Luke has very sophisticated tastes. He does. He likes dark chocolate. He ate ahi today at lunch. What else does he like that you wouldn't think you would like? Like salsas. Here, oh yeah, he salsa. likes spicy food. No, not the fruit. Let's share a piece of it with Lukey, okay? I'm just going to stack a little deal. With the veggies? Yeah. Hi, I have tomatoes and carrots and snap peas. That they should have a little bit of. I want more. Oh. But cats are holding up pretty good. We're still getting really good I'm heat. Called a zucchini. It looks like a cucumber, but it's called a zucchini. Mama, there's one. Mm -hmm. We should get on a kebab kick and do like Indian style, Thai style, like all the flavors of the different places. Yeah. Want me to put some more zucchinis and stuff on there? Yeah. The steaky kind. Got two more little pieces of steak. Because you had no For hips. months, they, they thought, thought that was, that was the funniest thing so that we were trying to buy hip huggers for girls who have no hips. <laughs> it's so cool. It was Daddy Odie and who? Uncle Bud. Yeah. Oh, okay. they, they were they really were funny. They, they were in laws. You know, they were brother in law and brother, you know, that's uh -huh. their relationship. But they were. Really so it was like a dad and a day hanging out doing. Them. Yeah, they really ended up being funny. They like the same things, like the collecting all the coins and going to Mexico and doing their... Oh, did Daddy Ode do He coins? collected coins. It is sunset time. What time is I it? don't even know what time what it is. What time is it? That's good stuff. It's time for lunch. Thanks for watching, everyone. I think that one's done. I'm gonna eat it.